All right, guys, this video is gonna serve two purposes. One, we're gonna try out this, I think, new Guinness 0% non-alcoholic draft. It contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. So if you're trying to drink beer, not get drunk, bam, they got you. If you're, you know, you're sober now and you don't, you still kind of miss the taste of beer. You're at a party, you want to drink beers with the guys, but you know, you, you don't drink beer. Guinness has you. So we're gonna try this out. We're also gonna talk about my Nitro Pepsi video a little bit, so if you're a subscriber, I got some thoughts, stay tuned. Let's try this thing out. So, four of these I think clocked in at about $9 in my local Harris Teeter. Saw them sitting on the bar at the little bar at Harris Teeter. The bartender was like, yeah, uh, they got them back here, you know, he grabbed me a pack, picked one up here. There it is. There it is. Let's pour it. So, I mentioned the Nitro Pepsi thing. Uh, Guinness is one, it was probably the first beer that did this, and there's a few others that do it now. It's a nitro stout. So, I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that little clicking? This one has a little ball on there, they call it a widget. And the widget has nitrogen. When you crack this top, whatever the, the pressure change, something, whatever it is, I'm, I'm no scientist. That causes the nitrogen to go out into the Guinness. You get a pour, you get this nice creamy head. You're gonna see that in a second. Pepsi did the same thing with one of their Pepsis. It was called Nitro Pepsi. You can still buy it at Walmart. I saw it the other day. Except they don't have the ball widget. They got one in the bottom. So we'll talk about why that was insane. So what you do though, for a perfect pour with one of these kinds of beers, Guinness perfect pour they call it. Actually, I'm probably gonna screw it up, but my point is it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's crack it. Let's crack it. Here we go. Get ready. You hear that squealing? So you want to pour that at like, this is the angle. This, this is what you want. Though my point is it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> but this is the angle. And then as it starts to finish, and I should have done it earlier, but I wasn't really thinking you set it straight. You pour the rest in this way. You get this nice creamy head, nitrogen foam. It's got our stupid self a thumbnail with it. This Guinness logo. All right, maybe that worked. I don't know. Um, looks like a Guinness. Smells like Guinness. Let it finish settling out here. I mean, it's just about done, but the bubbles come out. You can see them, you see these cascading bubbles with a Guinness. It's, it's a show, it really is a beautiful beer. It's one of the weaker stouts out there, but a lot of people appreciate it for that. I, I know I do, if I'm not looking for some crazy, you know, 10%, you know, F me up stout, <laughs> Guinness is my go-to. It's, it's a good beer, it's a good beer. So, let's try it out. It's good. It tastes like Guinness. Um, will I say it's indistinguishable from Guinness? No. It seems a little, I wanna say almost a little more watery, but not really. Like here's the thing, if I just gave you one of these and told you it was a Guinness, you're just gonna enjoy it. It, you're gonna say it's a Guinness, so. In that sense, I think it's indistinguishable. The flavor's all there, the texture's there. I've had a lot of Guinness. I can tell you it's not exactly the same, but for a 0% beer, well, sorry, less than 0.5% alcohol, that's, I don't know how many of these you'd have to drink to actually get a buzz off of <laughs> Maybe if you slammed like five packs of them, maybe something, um, you know, like within an hour, maybe. I, I'm not doing the math here. Point is, that's good. So that's definitely a good Guinness replacement if you don't drink alcohol and you like Guinness, want to try Guinness, they got you. At a pretty decent price at nine bucks for four of them. Not bad. Um, but yeah, see, see that gorgeous creamy head? Um, so I did the Nitro Pepsi. And this one, if you watch me, you know I love to bitch about the comments, my comment section. People are so stupid. Well, nothing shined a light on that more for me than this, get, or this Nitro Pepsi video. Um, 
I did it with the Guinness glass and I was comparing it to a Guinness. But this is my biggest video yet on this channel. I've been doing this for just over two years now. Um, I got like seven, th seven and a half thousand subscribers. Thanks to all of you. If you're not subscribed and want to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button. Um, but that one hit a hundred, um, we're up to almost 175,000 views on it. It is by far my biggest video. It is the biggest Pepsi Nitro video on YouTube last I checked. Um, like it's wild. So because of that, because it had the popularity of a popular video, endless comments. And I, guys, there's a lot of people in this world more intelligent than I am, but there's a lot of events like that that show me that I am far more intelligent than a significant number of the population. Uh, geez, these, these people. Um, you saw how I poured that, right? Pepsi Nitro, for some, some reason, I don't know why they do this, they say there's instructions in the can. You need to pour it completely upside down, right? That's the only way you're going to get the best head out of it. Now, in this video, I do it two ways. I do it this way, like I just did with the Guinness. And then for the second beer, or not beer, geez, see, second uh, Pepsi, I did it like they said. I didn't really make a difference at all. And these people tell me I wasn't that into it because I didn't pour it right. As if that was going to create some sort of crazy difference. The fact that I didn't just has changed the texture, has changed the flavor, has changed the bubbliness of it. You guys are so fucking stupid. So stupid. So I let most of the comments in that one just roll through. But it's it's something. I can't imagine if every one of my videos was like that. You know, go look at the food review YouTube world. Go look at review, bruh. Smart kid doesn't respond to any of his comments. Um, I like responding to you guys. I'm small enough. It's it's a thing. Um, so I appreciate you being there. On that same note, I, I'm days out from responding to comments sometimes. I read them all. I try to respond to them. Um, you're being heard and I appreciate you. I appreciate that this is a thing. 0% non-alcoholic Guinness. Now, if for some reason you're watching this and you've never had Guinness and you don't drink beer and you're like, you know, maybe I'm gonna go give that a shot, you're probably gonna hate it. On that same note, Guinness was the first beer, well, first beer I ever drank was a Heineken in France when I went with my high school class, my senior year. I hated it. Still kinda hate Heineken. Heineken sucks. Um, but regardless, the first beer, like when I actually turned 21 and I wanted to start drinking beer, I said, I'm going to get into Guinness. That's the classy one. It's an acquired taste. Any beer is an acquired taste. Well, that doesn't make it bad, but it's not what you're used to. And you got to tell yourself you want your taste buds to acclimate to that. Even in my beer journey, um... I worked at a brewery for a bit, and we used to visit that one before I even worked there. And there was one beer called Caged Alpha Monkey IPA. It was super hoppy, and I could not do IPAs. Like, I thought that was gross. Like, ugh, IPA, IPA, right? Kept drinking it. Kept sampling it. I started to appreciate the flavor a bit more. I was getting used to it. I could pick up the things I liked, and I, I adjusted to it. And I love IPAs. So my... I don't know if they're my favorite. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. I can do. It. I've never sneezed on a video. I don't think that would be a first. We're not doing it today. Um, I think IPAs are my favorite style of beer. If they're not, stouts are. I love stouts. And Guinness, like I said, is my first beer that I really got into that I really liked. Everyone else was drinking these crappy Bud Lights and Keystones. You know, college beers, right? I liked my Guinness. So I appreciate my Guinness zero percent. That's cool. I don't know that I'll end up buying it for anything, but maybe you will. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments there. Hit that like button if you liked the video. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Um, as I explained to the bartender at Harris Teeter today, um, Poppy, actually I 
said it wrong. Poppy was like my nickname in the college years. If you've been watching this channel and you have no idea, if you really want to know, search up my 1,000 subscriber special where I go into a bathtub clothed and eat Zaxby's. It's a hell of a video. Um, fun stories in that one and the story of Poppy. So check it out. Thanks for being here. Y'all take care.